but the rare earths is one of those things, a small project that we can build um, and it certainly be um, a material asset, could possibly be a, a company maker in its own right. Uh, and, and we see the value in that. So we're happy to nurse this along and grow it at an appropriate rate. Talking to FYI Resources, uh, ah, those guys there listed on the ASX. Rolly, thanks for taking the time today. And um, what a journey it's been uh, from HPA, high purity aluminium, and now into the rare earth space. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I. The bottom line is it's a fantastic opportunity. So, you know, it's something that we uh, didn't really uh, ex expect to do. Uh, HPA is our core focus. Um, you know, we see some fantastic metrics there in developing the HPA project. Uh, but uh, we, we built up a, 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 you know, a core competency of, of technical skills and we, we had the capacity um, and we'd been following the rare earths um, Uh, strategies, I suppose, for a little while, but an opportunity landed on our lap and it, and, and it was quite literally uh, too good to refuse. So, uh, you know, it was something that we didn't choose to do. HPA is still our focus and, and all our attention and energy is on that. But with this opportunity uh, to, to build um, an equally uh, important uh, critical minerals strategy through rare earths was, was basically too good to refuse. So the deal was, was quite simple and, and I won't say it's a soft deal, it's a script deal. The vendor of this asset um, really understands HPA and knew what uh, FYI was doing. So they were quite happy to take uh, FYI script um, and we were very happy to de uh, to develop this project that that needed a help, needed a corporate structure. So it was one plus one equals probably ten in my view. So um, you know, I thought it was uh, an, an adequate thing to do. So we you know we have the people, we have the the, the cash to develop it, um, and certainly we have a good partner in uh, Arafura to to develop it. So you know we've been working on it for a little while. No perfect time to. Uh, um, come to the market with this uh, because we're very scared that we didn't uh, want to represent the fact that we're turning our back on HPA uh, because that's certainly the furthest from the truth. We really are dedicated to the development of HPA, but the rare earths is one of those things, a small project that we can build um, and it'd certainly be um, a material asset, could possibly be a, a company maker in its own right. Uh, and, and we see the value in that. So we're happy to nurse this along and grow it at an appropriate rate. Quick follow-up question, Rolly, regarding uh, synergies. So if you go for two different strategies, two different projects, of course, it can take away from each other, but it can also add to each other. Um, do you think the company FYI is, is experiencing synergies like economies of scale, economies of scope, or not so much because they're too different? Yeah, uh, look, uh, through my background, I've done quite a lot of M&A and, and investing in companies and what have you. And I'd be very cautious to say that the whole reason that you're doing something is because of the synergies. Um, you know, that's not enough emphasis to, to, to do, uh, um, uh, you know, two separate projects. No, th these are quite separate um, and, and very distinct. It's just that we do have um, a critical minerals focus um, and we have the capabilities to do both. Uh, that That is sim simply it. But yes, in terms of synergies, we have some very good technically um, oriented people that can cope with both across the overlay, but they will be two distinct uh, strategies. So Roddy, um, is it then that you're bringing intellectual property to the table that you have or something that adds value in the process of refining these, these rare earth? Is that, is that the case? Yeah, well, we certainly have um, IP on the HPA um, and we will apply a few of those things across to the rare earths. And it's not necessarily uh, IP as such, it's just the smarts and the engineering uh, project management and a, and a couple of little tricks uh, that we think that will make uh, a big difference uh, to this industry. And keep in mind that we're not talking about a project that is about exploration and, and drilling. This is downstream, downstream production and the refining of certain uh, key elements that are in, in global demand. Um, and it's a matter of, uh, of extracting those uh, economically for the various markets. And, and that's where we will apply a little bit of IP, correct? 